There's no need to wait until a holiday to fix a special dinner. But since it's Valentine's Day, I thought I'd like to make something special for you, one of my favorite meals. It's light, it's healthy, it's elegant, and best of all, it's easy to prepare. I hope you enjoy it. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm gonna start with a cocktail. Since it's Valentine's Day, I think it would be nice if it's something pink. So I thought we would make a Raspberry Royale. This is similar to a Cure Royale, um, but instead of creme de cassis, we're gonna use Chambord. We're gonna start with about a teaspoon of Chambord. I'm gonna make two cocktails. And to that, I'm gonna add two or three raspberries. And then we'll top that off with some nice cold sparkling wine. But you wanna wait until the last minute to add the champagne because we want it to be nice and bubbly and cold. So we have this beautiful pink refreshing cocktail. I'm just gonna give this a quick stir. Pink color there. There you go, Raspberry Royale. I'm gonna start with dessert. I'm gonna make chocolate covered strawberries and I want these strawberries to go into the refrigerator and have a chance to set up and cool down before we serve them for dessert. I have these beautiful fresh strawberries got my double boiler set up here. For the chocolate, I'm going to use dark chocolate. Um, but I'm going to put in this container. This is a, um, a 10 ounce bag of dark chocolate. Um, and then I'm going to put a couple of teaspoons of unsalted butter in here with it. It's just going to help it melt. So we're going to give that a minute and let that chocolate melt. So our chocolate is melted. I'm gonna turn off the heat, and then I'm gonna take each strawberry and dip it in the chocolate, and then put it on this pan that I've prepared with some wax paper. You could also use parchment paper. We just want it to be able to pull off easily after we put it into the um, refrigerator. These have all been dipped, and I'm just gonna put them into the refrigerator to let them set so that when we take them off of the um, wax paper, when we're ready for dessert, we have a nice hard shell on them. For a special dinner this evening, I'm going to make a panko crusted salmon um, that's really delicious and light, and then sauteed French green beans with shallots. So I've got some water on the stove. Um, you can salt this water if you like. I've put a little bit of salt in here. I'm waiting for it to come to a boil. These are the French green beans. They're called haricot vert. So our water is boiling. I'm going to um, take our beans and quickly let them cook. While they're doing that, I'm gonna make an ice bath. So I've got my ice water here. Those are ready. Um, I'm just gonna take them out, get them right into this ice water bath. Now we can put these aside. I'll drain them right before I'm ready to use them. So the first thing we're gonna do is make the crunchy topping for our salmon. Um, I'm gonna start with some pan coats. I'm gonna use um, a third of a cup. To this, I'm gonna add about a half a teaspoon of lemon zest. So I'm just going to put about a half a teaspoon in here. Then I'm going to um, cut up some parsley. Again, I'm gonna do about a tablespoon or so of the chopped parsley. I want it to be as finely chopped as I can get it. So I'm going to chop away for a second with this and I'll have a very finely minced parsley. So here we go, we have about a tablespoon of this finely chopped parsley, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil. And I'm just gonna stir that up. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my salmon. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of Dijon mustard and I'm gonna brush it onto um, my fillets. And that's gonna help to hold that crumb mixture. You wanna be pretty generous with the mustard because you wanna have enough on the fillet 
to hold that coating on. We don't want that coating to fall off. We're going to take our um, crumb mixture and we're gonna spoon it on and just kind of push it into the salmon so it sticks. I'm just gonna pat this topping onto the top of the fish so that it sticks. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna heat a couple tablespoons of vegetable oil in a cast iron skillet because we're going to sear the bottom of these fillets. So I want that oil to get nice and hot. This oil is hot. So I'm just going to put my salmon fillets in the oil and that's gonna cook for about three minutes, three to four minutes. I want that skin to get nice and crispy. I want my oven preheated to 400 degrees. So my salmon fillets have been cooking in the hot oil for about three minutes and I'm just gonna put the whole pan into the oven. And I'm gonna let that bake for about seven to eight minutes. I have a nice big skillet. And into this, I'm gonna put um, about a tablespoon or so of olive oil and about a tablespoon or so of butter. While that's melting, I'm going to take my shallot and chop it up because I'm gonna saute this shallot and then I'm gonna dump the beans in. I'm gonna add that to the hot oil and butter and just let that cook for a minute or so. Shallots have softened now, so I'm gonna add my beans. So I'm gonna stir that around add a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper, and then I'm just gonna saute these beans in that wonderfully aromatic oil and butter. Okay. So the last thing I'm gonna do on our dinner is I'm going to cover my pan with a piece of foil and let this rest for a couple of minutes. To finish up my strawberries, I'm just gonna to try to make them look a little more special. I've taken some white chocolate chips, I've melted them in the microwave, and I'm just gonna use a fork to run the white chocolate over these strawberries. I'll just pop them back into the fridge until we're ready for dessert. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like this and subscribe to my YouTube channel.